Flexen coming off a magnificent start comes home with the first pitch and it is skied out to center field where Taylor Trammell roams back parks underneath it and makes the catch one pitch one away good start for Flexen and company Flexen has really pitched well here at home three and one at home with a one six three ERA. Off to a fast start France handles this no problem at all two outs. It's a little toothpick coming off his back Crawford easy play a couple of ground ball outs right on cue go to the bottom of the first Sean Mania getting set to take the hill. Well I think and you see this 12th start for Sean Mania and I'd say for him coming into this start he's got to be thinking about innings giving some innings trying to limit the pitch count so he can go deep in the ball game. You know Kipe, we always talk about the pitch count seems to that magical number. That's a good pitch. So Crawford swings and misses, and the first batter that Manaya faces is a strikeout victim. Say Tony. Working on his stance. Hey Tony. <laughs> I'm about ready to call a pitch. <laughs> hey. Wanted to get wanted to get the field down. <laughs> so both pitchers, good first innings, no score after one. Is that it is at its best as this one hops over to Kyle Seeger when he throws it with great intent and is not afraid to have it get hit and that it's best when it's thrown to get a swing and to get put in play. Yeah basically I mean what that tells me is, is for him to try it not to nibble off of the corners with it. It's a pitch that he just needs to throw with conviction. Cut on and missed at 95 good heater from Flexen who was sacked down all six faces. What 291 wins? That one is drilled toward left center field. Kemp hustling over, goes into a slide and makes a nice catch. And Tony went into the slide maybe to stop himself and see where the glove is. The glove stays there. He goes down, the glove stays up. So it's a question of whether maybe he didn't see it as he went into the slide, popped up quickly. And, and the tattoo on his arm is Luke Gary. So we'll tell you the story about Jacob Nottingham when he comes up again and it's a good start for both starting pitchers tonight no score after two not this time and it is lined to left and that's a hit Fraley over to cut it off he does but he's got to go into a slide to do it Chapman will go to third he'll stop there and in the second is Elvis Andrews and the A's have second and third. What a great at bat by Elvis Andrews. So RBI opportunity for Canna. And he smokes one to center and that's a base hit. One run's going to score. Elvis Andrews runs through the stop sign and he's going to score. Mark Kotze was holding him up. Elvis Andrews had other ideas. The throw was offline. Turns out to be a two run single and the A's lead 2 nothing. So here's Olsen. And that's a base hit to center field. Coming in to score is Canna. A big two out hit, and the A's lead three to nothing. Tremel shading towards the left center for the left hand power hitting Moreland. And that one is hit well. Center field, and that baby is gone. A very long home run for Mitch Moreland, his fifth of the year. How about 444 feet? Sounds about right. And it's five nothing, the A's lead. Crawford taps one to Lowry. Lowry flips to first, and that will do it. So the walk does no damage, and we're headed to inning number four. It's 5 0 Hazley. High out to the gap. Tremel coasts over and puts it away to retire the side. Take it on Sean Manaya. Rubber game of the series. Mitch Hanniger leads it off. First pitch and it whistles right off of Lowry's glove and into center field. And a good fastball, a little elevated, and he gets his third strikeout. So a double play and a strikeout. Nothing for the Mariners as we head to the fifth. Top of the order, Mark Canna. First pitch skied to Tremel. He's been pretty busy so far. One away. Line into center field. 
Murphy hits the ball hard for the second time and works a base hit out of it. And that turns around 93 miles an hour. Leadoff man aboard in front of Jacob Nottingham DHing tonight. He hit it hard. Nottingham going down swing. Like the breaking ball that time, so mixing it up. Grounded to Lowry. A second baseman makes the easy throw, and the Mariners leave him loaded. Through five, it's five nothing eights. Sean Manaya back to work as he faces Hanniger. Hanniger hits it hard. Nice play by Elvis Andrus. He flips it across the diamond, and they got him. Oh, man, what a play. Scooped it perfectly in his glove before Hanniger got to the bag. And it's a great play. Swings through a fastball, and Andrews is out number one. Quality fastball at the top of the zone. Another long at bat, though. Seven pitches to put him away. He's not happy about it. And he fouls it back 96 that time from a seven. Check swing, and he goes. The seven strikes out the side in order as we stretch. Back with the 2 2 comes. Manaya swing and a miss. Gets him on the slider. That's five K's now for Sean. Two and two, and back comes Manaya. Swing and a miss. 94 on his, what, 93rd, 94th pitch of the night. Great night for Manaya. Sean ready, turns. Here's the one two pitch now, and that's on the outside corner. Ring him up. Strike three. Call a perfect pitch. There's that first and third. Crowds this one to Seeger. Out at second, the throw to first, not in time. Canna beat it out, and that's going to get himself an RBI. Six nothing A's, one out, one on. Bottom of the ninth, and the pitch is a swing and a ground ball to third. Chapman goes to second. Kemp goes to first. Double play to end the game. What a great way to end it. And Sean Manaya fires a complete game, four hit shutout against the Mariners on this Wednesday night up in Seattle.